killer freezes in the 1980s dealt serious blows to Florida's citrus industry. Many growers just picked up and moved south. Now southwest Florida boasts having more than 115,000 acres dedicated to citrus production. Many growers say that southwest Florida is emerging as one of the top citrus producing areas in the state. The Gulf Citrus Growers Association represents more than 100 growers and the executive vice president is Ron Hamill. Can you put this move to the south in perspective for us? Yes, there's been very dramatic growth here. Uh, during the past 20 years, the acreage in citrus has gone from 40,000 acres to over 100,000 acres in these five counties. Uh, the counties uh, we're talking about are uh, Lee, uh, Collier, Charlotte, Glades, and Hendry counties. Would you say that there are primarily small growers, a mixture, large landowners? There are a variety of uh, growers here. Uh, we have uh, several uh, uh, citrus people that have been in the industry for many, many years through some of their family operations. There's others that have been uh, uh, new to the area. Uh, there are five acre tracks. There are multiple thousand acre tracks. Um, there's a wide variety, a wide scope, and a wide interest uh, of the citrus growth in southwest Florida. And you all have the same needs, though? Well, all the growers basically have the same basic needs, and that's uh, uh, the water issues, uh, the transportation issues, the marketing issues, and all those that go along with getting that product from the time uh, a young tree is in the ground to the time that fruit is beginning to be harvested and move into market. And how would you describe the role of the Gulf Citrus Growers Association in meeting some of those needs and issues? Well, we are trying as a association to address more of the local needs of growers. Um, we feel that there are excellent state organizations uh, that the industry has had in place a number of years that address the larger scale state and national issues. Um, obviously, Gulf Citrus has to be a part of that, uh, that those organizations as well. However, we are working more with what I would consider the grassroots issues and working with the local county governments, the local county planning boards, the local water management district people, um, et cetera, to address what we would consider those uh, concerns that are closer to home than those that uh, are upstate or at our state's capital uh, or even up in Washington. Are there considerations or concerns that are unique to southwest Florida as opposed to central Florida? Well, I don't know that the word would truly be unique because they do have water issues in central Florida. They do have environmental issues. They do have marketing issues that they have to deal with. But they are area specific in addressing uh, some of these things. For example, uh, we are attempting to grow citrus in some of the state's most environmentally sensitive lands. Uh, we are aware that that is indeed happening and we are very concerned and uh, are cooperating with the various state agencies so that we can study and deal with issues like the environmental issues, the wildlife uh, uh, issues, and the balance between uh, the ecology and the environment in this particular area, as well as the ability to grow and produce some of the best citrus in the world. I have been given the impression that in this case, in southwest Florida, there's the opportunity to do it up front as opposed to after the, after the fact. Well, that's true. Uh, in an area where you are getting into uh, growing uh, at the magnitude and the level we are, and with the opportunity to implement and use the newest technology, um, that does give us an advantage uh, as a newly progressing area than having to go back and, let's say, retrofit groves and, and you know, uh, go back and, and uh, gear up under uh, the new technologies. Not to say that some of that is not going on, but it does give us that initial uh, uh, preparation, the initial development of the groves, the uh, construction of the groves, uh, where we can take all these factors into consideration. In fact, we are mandated to do that uh, by the various agencies uh, uh, that permit citrus in the state, uh, so uh, these are a number of things that uh, we are in some degree being forced to do, but in the long run we are finding a way of making this uh, procedure 
actually be a benefit to the industry because we can implement these new technologies. We can take advantage of that in the development of our production as well as our marketing. To be specific then, for example, on the area of water, since it's been so dry in Florida overall over the past year or even more than that, uh, what would you say growers here are doing to work cooperatively on the water issue in Southwest Florida? Uh, water is the number one concern of growers in this particular area. And the reason that is, is because it really is the basis of being able to grow citrus here. In order for us to make sure that the water is available and there is adequate water, it's very important that we work closely with the water management districts, with the growers, and with those that can help us to implement the latest and newest technology in dealing with the water issue. Water conservation is critical to Southwest Florida, be it the resident or be it the agriculturalist. In our particular case, we want to make sure that our citrus growers are using the most efficient water uh, irrigation programs that they can. In fact, one of the things that we are doing at this point is working uh, with one of the uh, water hydrologists uh, and water engineers with IFAS uh, to ascertain what are the best ways of irrigating citrus in southwest Florida. Uh, these computerized models will actually be able to um, uh, assist the industry in achieving even greater conservation as we go in dealing with this water issue. Uh, citrus by nature is actually a contributor to uh, water, uh, total water availability uh, in, uh, as far as an agricultural uh, enterprise is concerned. There is much more water that will fall in a citrus grove than is actually consumed by that grove. And we feel that citrus in southwest Florida is a net contributor to the total amount of water available for all enterprises. The Gulf Citrus Growers Association is a relatively new organization, yet you have 100 members. What can you say about that? Well, there's a lot of interest by growers in, in this particular area to work together to address many of the issues uh, that the industry is facing. Uh, everything from marketing to the uh, development of adequate water policy to be able to continue to grow citrus in southwest Florida. Uh, growers work together, they've banded together under the the Gulf Citrus umbrella, if you will, uh, to be able to address these issues and to work with all the other groups in order to, uh, uh, to make uh, Southwest Florida Citrus and what we would consider Gulf Citrus one of the, the top uh, organizations in the state.